Hey guys, welcome back to the boating storybook. And they're working on moving glory days right now. They're getting her outside. So they're gonna hook a garden hose up to her so they can run it and uh, give it a tune up. And uh, she's going in the water. So that <coughs> is super cool. And while we're waiting, I'm gonna show you something that I found. It's kind of, um, I don't know how to feel about it. I don't think it's a good thing, but I, was wandering through the parking lot the other day and I found a stone that looked kind of interesting. In fact, it looked like metal and uh, didn't know what it was at all. Handled it a little bit, bit on it a little bit just to see if it was hard or soft or if it had a taste to it. And um, it was very hard, very dense and heavy. So I threw it in the ashtray of my truck basically <laughs> and it rode around there for a couple of weeks. And one night at home, I had a little bit of time and I decided, I thought of it and I decided uh, I'm going to Google it a little bit. So I Googled strange crystalline metals and I did an image search and I found it. And there were a few different options, but by weighing different characteristics that my particular piece of metal had, I narrowed it down to one. And I'm sorry, I'm watching them behind me. Oh, there he is right there. I narrowed it down to one metal, and that is uh, something called, and I won't tell you until you see it. To handle this stuff pretty carefully at this point. Keep it in this little jar. It's called Arsenal Pyrite. Take a good look at that. I hope I'm at a good focal distance. And I'm no expert on this stuff whatsoever. Uh, just showing you guys, maybe somebody will comment and tell me more about it. I, I don't know anything except for what I found on Google last night, so I'm probably pronouncing some of these words, terms wrong. But um, the way I decided it was arsenal pyrite was, let's see how close we can get. It's very dense. Um, it looks just like it. And it's magnetic slightly, which the other candidates were not. And the third and final characteristic it had that made me decide almost certainly it was arsenal pyrite and by the way, arsenal is short for arsenic. It's a sulfide-based rock. I don't know anything about that stuff. But it was used primarily in the paper industry. Those are pulp silos, and they're not knocked down yet, even though they're an ugly eyesore in the middle of a marina, because they're too loaded with arsenic, and there's not really any good way to get rid of them, so they just leave them there. That's an unconfirmed story by some old timers that live around here. Again, I don't really know how I feel about that. This is an area that's been plagued with industry and pollution. And uh, so when you find something like this, it kind of it doesn't really make you very happy. And to find a huge chunk of it, and it you knock it around in there, it smells like garlic. That's another characteristic of arsenic. So yeah, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I don't want to just throw it in the garbage. Comment, let me know. Pretty crazy, huh? Well, other than that, we got a long way to go with Glory Days. She just got pulled out of storage. She's going to get a tune-up, and hopefully by next week she'll be in the water if nothing is wrong and uh, looking forward to it. You know, I, one other thing is uh, just didn't make too many wintertime movies and I apologize for that. I actually made two or three movies and I deemed them so boring that uh, I didn't air them and I probably won't. I mean, you try to make gray skies and snow interesting for six months. I don't know. Well, thank goodness that's over. We'll see you next time.
Thanks, guys.